if the coach becomes kind of a punchline and the coach doesn't have an offense that he's supposed to build, what do you have? The only thing I can think, why would Peyton Manning stake his reputation to this guy? The only thing I can think is that Adam Gase really does sleep like four hours a night. He really is at the facility for 16 hours. And he watches more film than any other coach that Peyton Manning's ever been around. And maybe one-on-one -on -one behind the scenes working with a quarterback, maybe he can be fine. But that's not his job right now. His job is to run an organization. Maybe Peyton Manning looks at Gase and says, that's the only guy I've ever known that watches more film than I do. And maybe that's how he earned Peyton Manning's respect. But aside from Peyton Manning going to bat for Adam Gase, what is Adam Gase? Watching last night, that was a train wreck. And is that going to get better? I mean, next week, the Jets have the Patriots. What? What is that? Is that 45 to 10? If that, if that's Luke Falk in there, because I think Trevor Simeon broke his ankle. I mean, that thing was nasty. What is next week against the Patriots? Honestly, is it 50 to 3? Is it 55 to 10? Is it 42 nothing? I mean, I just can't look at last night's game and think anything but, God, Adam Gase is in over his head. And he looks really weird and speaks really weird at post-game podiums and during the week. I mean, this week he couldn't even address his starting quarterback by name. 14, out, mono. Uh, the guy's your starting quarterback. Could you imagine if Belichick went to the podium? 12, out, elbow. 12. Oh, do you mean Tom Brady? No? Okay. Could you imagine Sean Payton going to the podium? Nine, out, thumb. Huh? What?